Yes, I got my coffee. And I learned something new today, guys. But first, we're gonna get Zendaya out before I tell you this story. I'm getting you, I'm getting you. Also, here are all my full sheds. Rat snake, green tree python, both of them, and reticulated python. So anyways. What up, Zendaya? What are you doing, girl? All right, so this is Zendaya, my leatherback bearded dragon. So I figured she'd hang out with me since she looked like she wanted to come out while I tell you this story. So the story goes like this. I'm at work. Keep in mind, this is my attire. So I'm at work. And uh, a girl that I work with, she came up to me and she asked me why I was wearing Hoochie Daddy shorts. Hoochie Daddy shorts. Never heard of it. So I thought she was just playing. Hey, what are you doing, Zendaya? Relax, girl. All right, you feel more comfortable? All right. So Hoochie Daddy shorts. She proceeds to pull out her phone and show me videos on TikTok. This is literally, I cannot make this stuff up. So she started looking at my shorts and she's like, this is definitely Hoochie Daddy shorts. Well, really, they're really not Hoochie Daddy shorts because Hoochie Daddy shorts are like this. But all in all, it was pretty funny. So yeah, I guess I'm behind the ball because I had no idea Hoochie Daddy shorts was a thing, let alone a thing on TikTok. But anyways, let's get this video going. All right, so Zendaya was becoming a little bit antsy, so I put her back in her enclosure. But today's video is going to be me getting out all of my reptiles and showing you one by one, well, almost all of them. So I guess you could call this reptile room tour. So we are gonna start off with the tortoises. We got Deuce. Let's see, what are you doing, Deuce? Deuce is a Silcata tortoise. Silcata tortoises are one of the tortoises that get really big. 80 to 100 pounds. They are native to the Sahara Desert and eventually he will need a really big enclosure. This is Miss Kitty. No, she ain't a cat, but that's Miss Kitty. She is a Russian tortoise. And we're gonna keep it with the turtles, but next we're gonna go to the water turtles. This is the water turtles enclosure. This guy's name is Sarge. Are you angry with me? Are you angry? This is the biggest one we got, man. He is pretty large. Then we got this little guy. And there's a couple more in there, but they're hiding, so I'm not going to wait around. You can keep on knocking, but you can't come in. So next we're gonna go to the lizards. So we'll start out with the geckos. Some of the first reptiles that I started keeping. Let's get out Tigger. Oh, Tigger the tiger, what are you doing, buddy? He is literally the largest leopard gecko I have. He is a large specimen. There we go, that'll make things easier. These guys are found throughout Asia. This dude's a hog. Now I am not gonna get Mellow out for the simple fact that she is shedding. So we will leave her alone. Let's go up to Iceman. Oh, I need a step stool. I ain't that tall. Now here's Iceman. Now this is the same as the last gecko, so they are both from Asia. Where are you going, buddy? What's up? Now, of course, that is my dead gecko, and of course, he is so fast that I am not going to try to get him out. Dead geckos are found in eastern Madagascar and are the only gecko that I will not try to handle. This is my crested gecko. Again, I do want to get a female because that is guaranteed a male. These guys got sticky feet, so they can stick to pretty much any surface. Crested geckos can be found in New Caledonia. Crested geckos at one point were thought to be extinct until they were rediscovered. All right, I'll put him back because I didn't want to stress him too much. So next, we're on to the bearded dragon, which I just had out in the beginning of the video, but we'll get her out again. What up, girl? Bearded dragons are native to Australia, and she is currently the biggest lizard I got. Till I get that black throat monitor lizard. Always gotta lock them up. I don't want no stragglers. So that ends all the lizards. Next, we're off to the snakes. 
I think we will do smallest to largest. So first, my Sambo. Now he is currently hiding. He went in that hole and he's still inside there. So I'm gonna wait until he comes out. But Sambo is are from Eastern Africa. Now he does look like he is deep in the shed, but let's see what's going on. Now I'm not going to mess with him too much. But that is my rat snake, AKA corn snake. The corn snake is just a type of rat snake. Now the corn snake is a snake that is native to the Eastern United States. So that is a snake that could potentially be found where we live because they range all the way from New Jersey down to Florida and a little to the Midwest. He is in between four and a half to maybe five foot. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and measure his last shed. So here we go from head to tail. He is about four foot seven inches. However, he is probably the tamest snake I have. He locked up, I won't let him out. Man, my coffee's gone. But next I'm going to show you my four ball pythons. So this is stir fry, my largest ball python, my first ball python. Now majority of the ball pythons are very similar. Might as well get them all out. So here we go. These are my three female ball pythons. We got stir fry, Sinbad, and Nanners. Now, if you can tell, these two are really similar, but there is a few different genes in there. The one upstairs is really similar too. Ooh, let's see what the fortune is. You know I love Chinese. You are the very definition of trustworthy, Panda Express. These are my three females. I will show you the male upstairs here in a moment. Also, we gotta get that out of there. You don't want your snake laying on that. All right, stir fry coming. Also, ball pythons are from the Sub-Sahara in Africa. And this girl, as long as I've had her, she loves to soak. Her, not so much. Also, something I don't mention, is I always use hand sanitizer and or clean wash my hands after messing with each individual reptile, especially whenever one of them's in quarantine. Another fun fact, if you got a snake and it bites you and it latches onto you, like it's ready to eat you, one little squirt of hand sanitizer will make that snake let go instantly. Nobody wants hand sanitizer in their mouth. So here he is. This is Scrim. Look at that white stripe from his head down to here. Now me personally, I do think he is all right. I don't think he has any mites or anything like that, but it's just a precaution just to be on the safe side. When you got a collection the size of mine or bigger, well, I mean, even smaller for that fact, it's just something that you have to do just to be safe. Go on back to your home, buddy. Tickle, 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 tickle. Come on, buddy, get in there. Gotta close the door. Look at him now. I raised that dude from a little guppy. Yes, I finally got him out. This is Samson, my Samboa. And they are from Africa. I did have a female, unfortunately she did pass. I'm gonna go ahead and put that little guy back. My green tree python. Now because he is on his unremovable perch, I am not going to mess with him or try to get him out. But he is a beast of a specimen. You see that green really starting to pop on his head. Looking magnificent, man. Heck yeah. These guys are found in the rainforest. They are predominantly tree dwellers, if you couldn't tell. But they do from time to time during the night when they are hunting, they will go to the ground. They can be found in Papua New Guinea, Eastern Indonesia, and also in parts of Australia. So next is Rosie. Yes, the girl that just had that long shed. Now I will say this is the only snake I need a snake hook with. And really this snake hook wouldn't work. I would need to use the bigger one. But because I've learned her, all you gotta do is touch her with that a couple times. So this is Rosie, my 10 foot reticulated python, which I thought was only eight foot. 
Good Lord, she's getting so big. Her last shed came out magnificently. I can't even complain. Reticulated pythons are known as the smartest non-venomous snake. The smartest snake would have to be the king cobra. But the retics are the smartest non-venomous snake. Now reticulated pythons can be found in Southeast Asia. That is their native region. She was the first snake I acquired. So to think that the first snake I got is the biggest snake in the world. The longest, I mean. The biggest would be the, an what are you doing? I can't see. The biggest would be the anaconda. All up in the camera. She said I ain't getting enough attention. Yes, this girl is getting very large. No complaints, she's doing really well. Actually, I forgot I got two more. I got two poisonous snakes right here, what? Oh, you got me all tied up, girl. Got me all tied up and shit. All right, so now we are to the frog. If you can't see, there's one right there. And there's one right there. Those are the fire belly toads. Now, we got a tree frog there. And we got a tree frog there. So these are the frogs. And to finish this video off, we are going to do the scorpion, which is right there. What are you doing, Spike? Spike has pretty much doubled in size since I first got this guy. I'm not sure if it's a female or a male, but I don't plan to breed, so I don't plan on getting another one. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like and a comment. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel right there, bottom left-hand corner of the screen. And if you enjoyed this video, why don't you click a couple more videos of mine right there in that playlist. Other than that, it's BD Reptiles. Do what you love, love what you do, and I'll see you on the flip side. I'm out of here. Whoa, that was dangerous.